Deep Talk with Mr. Henry. You'll never meet her, you'll never to sola musanga tanyumie. Everywhere, those are never available to you, and that's one thing that she inspires me, you know, about. She's called Pia Pounds, but we are curious. Welcome to the Deep Talk. My name is Mr. Henry. Thank you so much for watching all the previous episodes. And right now, let me tell you, we're going to reveal a lot. Tutandikira mm opia. -hmm. Amanya Matuf. Amanya Ganga Chirabo. Tracy. Chirabo, Tracy. Yes. That makes you a Muganda, Munyakore, Muchiga, Mutoro. UN. United Nations. No, like be real. Daddy Muchi, Mami Muchi. My father is from Congo, but has Randy's blood, and then my mom is from Gomba, Bukandula. So it makes you Congolese. I am. Pia Simona Uganda. Do you take it there? First of all, welcome to the show and thank, thank you, you so for much. looking good. Eh? Thank you so much. You too. You thank you. Amazing. Um, the, the name Pia Pounds, I think, Abantwebata and Ika Okumanya Enyo mm -hmm. is when you were in Big Talent. Um, how, how, how do you join Big Talent? And is that where your story as an artist begins from? Not at all. Mm. Uh, my story begins when I first, I think, went to studio. Mm -hmm. Of course, Nalinga Nyimba Mo Church, Nakulida Mo Church, Nakulida, yes. So I used to like solicit every song at school. Mm. I was so passionate about music. Kati, yeah. and I went to like an independent life kinda. My half brother, who is a bit older than me, alia abela nanga moyimbi. He's like an upcoming artist. Mm. So I used to sometimes push him to studios. Kati. Mm -hmm. Studio in a soko in Gidami Adia Ragadi. Which year are we talking about? It was 20, um, 2010. I was mm. just 14. 2010? Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, I was in high school, I think I'm mm. senior three. Which school? I was at Liberia SS. Lovidi one way. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Cutting. Um, in the studio, na in the backup parties for my brother yes, at yes. first. Yes. And then when they noticed I had like a good alto. I'm backing up Lunji. The Vatan Kokubanga Bafunila. Like, if there is an artist, they are in the Gavan Peter Nevangamba, Jango, Bakikono, Mimbi, Nevampa, Chevy. I am too. That was a lot of money, by the way. Yes, your parents knew this over whatever we call a Mokoko to Mokweba. My family background is not like no more because I didn't have at that time my own guardian was my brother. What are going with the Congolese dad and the mom? They are out of the picture. So my mom passed away oh, when I was like two years old. And then my dad wasn't in my life at all. Is he still alive? Yeah, he's alive. Is and he in Uganda, in Congo, to Mono, in Kova? After being signed in 2018, that's the first what? time I met my dad. Your dad came into your life in 2018? Yes, I was 21. What? How did you even know that you existed? How did the connection happen? The fact that I was signed, mm. I go to these interviews and I talk about myself. Mm. Yeah. Um, like that, yes, like that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever forgive him in your heart? Sorry, these, these questions are not scripted, but now <laughs> I'm curious. So, my mm. dad. Yeah. I didn't really him bundle forgive, forgive, but a family is mm. family. At some point, we know quite a gana nava and two. Yeah, and the way that we have our one. As you were growing up, um, him not being in your life, is this something that bothered you? Yes, I was so lonely. I, I had so many questions growing up, like, what tribe am I? Where mm. am I from? How mm. old am I? I didn't even have my mm. birthday. Yeah. Like, not this, I didn't have my real birthday celebration until 2018. That's I didn't know my real age, I did not know anything. I didn't know my tribe, I did not know, yeah. So the, the story of you growing up now, you're taken up by your brother, um, you're into the industry. Why, is, is this a choice you made sober or just life you have to the you? No, like I was saying that mm. um, Nali, I loved music since I was a kid. Yeah. I used to be in every, just no school choir. I would spend most of my time in mm. MDD, mm. Interact, or mm. 
just know anything to do with music. I mm. was Ganza Soka Police. Yeah, I loved music so much. And mm. when I started doing it in studio mm. at that like young age, Ngambela um funa ideas. I didn't even know I could write. Mm -hmm. But I would just get ideas, write the idea. Then the producer says, mm, sounding mm, <laughs> mm. Your words are mature, like you're not sounding mm. your age. And then ne ne sanganga minabu demos, mimba imba yobuyimba. And then my I think the best song, because mm. Ragadi one day came in studio. Now we demo wafe. Mm. Mm, I wasn't there, but I received a call from the producer. Which producer are we talking about? He was called Frank. Nangamba, Ragadi Aimbi Dem Kaimba Ko. And that's how like my career is launched. I did not even, I didn't talk, I didn't know Ragadi up mm. to the video shoot of the video, of the, like I didn't meet him yes. up to the video shoot. You have that a song, song with Ragadi? Yes. What is the name of that song, Pierre? Just the way you are. What? <laughs> Rafur Mamuakachi. 2011. Wow. So that's how now the career kick starts. Yeah, that's how I enter the industry of music. Kati big talent to bring it out here because now that's when the name Pierre Pounds com comes out now. That's when we get to know the artist. Well, um, I had to go to school. In 2011, I was 15 years old. I was in Form 3. I was in Form 4 VAC though when we did the video of, of Just The Way You With Are. Ragadi. Yes. So I had to go back studying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I think for me, because I'll mm. be like, this chick started singing at 16. Who am I not to? Yes. Yeah, so it was just... um. Mm. Bachita, but yeah, motive. Champagne, mm. So I went back to school. Of course, I went back to the studio because music is money. Yes, yes. Yeah, I would go to studio. Like, mm. I would go, I went to Jar Live often, mm. and then I would sing. Then connection because I to Yeah. Yes. At Jar Life, I am going to insurance company of East Africa. A U E A. Yeah, mm. insurance life, life <laughs> policy. Yes. <laughs> when I was there, I met this guy, Balwa Moita Agre. Nangamba, eh? Oh, 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 tunda insurance. Mm. Ne, what other? What's up about you? Yes, yes. Because you're so young and mm. this, this, you're like a vakis. Mm. For me, my passion is music. Mm. But really, if I sponsor, if I sponsor one song of yours, would that make a difference in your life? Mm. Because insurance is not easy to sell. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. So, I'm going to go to the studio and I'm going to go to the producer. Life. Kusame was at Jar Life before, yes. and I turned out to big talent. Mm. So, this Kusame has been your birthday for a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, became buzo, friends from uh, you. <laughs> you know, as, as we go along, but I'm looking for that entry point where you meet Eddie and actually, because where you signed at Big Talent Over, we have it all wrong. Cut it and storage. Cut it and storage. <laughs> <laughs> then of course the pressure yeah. of having to go to school mm. and um, be balanced when I began. But when I was in my second year at mm. university, um, I had lost touch with Bakusem, ba, ba New York, then I was in New York, in New York, in New So uh, New York actually is the one who calls me. Mm. Let me come and pick you. New York. Meanwhile, I thought he's taking me to Jar Live. Mm. But never killed our Kakubo. Much in the road. Yeah. Oh, at that point, you had never met Eddie Kenzo in person. No, I hadn't. Mm. But this must be Eddie Kenzo's studio. Mm. Then, of course, Kusei Mbwena Sanga Ngatuda Umkatebe. Mletida Kaimba Kange. Yes. 
um, I think three sessions later, because I was, you know, you, you go for sessions. Yeah. yeah. You come, you go, mm. you come, you go. Mm. So one session, I meet Eddie uh, outside the studio. Mm. Mm -hmm. yes. So I just looked down like, is that Eddie Kenzo? Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Then after like a few minutes, he comes in studio. Mm. He's like, eh. Yes. I had one project, of course, the one mm. I, I was working on. Mm. So he's like, hmm, she's talented, but she needs a lot of yeah. guidance here and mm. there. This is, I think we saw me, I saw Eddie Kenzo the first time in 2016. Okay. That was 2016. Oh, yeah. He had a couple of songs in 2016. Mm, he yeah. was... He was big already. Yeah. He already had big talent. Yeah, so. Mm. So, um, the session here in Gwanga, and this is how we are Are you under any label? Do you have someone who can help you? I'm going to need that. I'm going to say, but you're so talented. You need a lot of guidance because industry is facing you. Hmm. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, no problem. Okay. I went back home, I was over the moon. I was telling everybody who could listen that, guys, Eddie Keynes wants to help me. As in? Yeah. At that point, I wasn't seeing myself as the most talented person yeah. or like, I really, he's intentions clear. Is he seriously wanting to help me musically? Nae, when I went back, mkwane nga movement ya tandi kada, big talent nga, nga vampi sango mwane umto, nze na mm -hmm. baby, banyamba ko, bandi semele, I'm like, hey. Nga vakuli semele. Wana sige nda vao. Nga <laughs> like, vakuli semele, like literally they would hold a fork and figure. Who would okay, do that? Not really that. Nenga. <laughs> they were treating me like a flower. Yes. Yes, so I felt very comfortable and I felt like I mm -hmm. had friends. I would talk to Martin better for hours. Mm. What are your dreams? What do you want to be? I think mm. guys, they are trying to understand who I am yeah. and then help. Eddie. Mm -hmm. Eddie. Every time we talk about signing me, he tells me, Yimbe Nyimba. Bella ne Nyimba. Bella ne Nyimba. Orunga, now we're going to studio, no Yimbe Nyimba. You have hope, you know. It's a the like good of a mm. song. Then you mm. make ten more and you realize the other one wasn't even yeah. a nice song. Th that music, what if I move full of me? Then over a cigarette and I'm in studio. Are you serious? Mm. How did that make you feel? They've called you, mm. Bagala Kusaininga, but we are confused. <laughs> <laughs> I was so mm. confused. I'm like, what are these guys about? Mm. Remember, I have school. So um, sometimes in 2017, I had like 14 songs the day I got signed. At Big Talent? Yes. Yeah. So how do you get signed now? How? How does the story change to you now being signed? Nga Lumu, I mm. think it was January 2018. Nga Eddie Kenza I hope you have a lawyer. Ah, lawyer. <laughs> 2018, we are talking, you, you had been at that place from 2016. I went yeah. like, I saw, I went there like October 2016. Mm. So I think I had spent a year with, with a gang. Mm. So. Ne mugamba ya lawyer muina wone so kane no nyaba lawyer. Yeah. Wa mugamba muina ne ga to muina. Si molin. Yeah. Nga mpade ne contracts. Nga sina chente gena m just nze nsumye busomi wano big talent pia pounds. What do you think made Eddie take two years to make a decision of signing you? I think he wanted to craft my art. He wanted me. Kwanga, mm. we young ambida, he wants to sign me. And that mm. day he signed me. We were two different people. Mm. I had now grown more. I had understood the kind of genre I wanted. Okay, mm. na listen about Jif Nabulunji. Mm. At least, nina more of like a, more, a better understanding mm. of what I was getting myself into yeah. and what I wanted to be as a person. Mm. Yeah. 
Omala Nudukayo. We're going to get to that <laughs> story. But the, what the entire world knows, actually, there's a clique of people, there's a section of fans out there who believe that you and Eddie Kenzo had a relationship. Mm. Like, we were him big talent here. Yeah. I know you've, you've, you've had these things before. Yeah. How true is this? So that's exactly why I had a very hard time starting as an artist. Because I did not even, the first two months of signing me was so rough because I did not know how to handle media and how to be told something publicly. And you have to defend yourself. So I just had a lot of extremely hard time dealing with media. Sometimes I would refuse to go for interviews. interviews. Yeah. And then nga, my people behind, Martin, Kusain, Eddie, some sessions, they're like practicing mm. how to. Mm. They're like, I mean, if somebody's saying something that's not right about you, because I have personal friends who are yeah. almost believing this lie. Mm. It's told more, it was told more than my music. Like that lie of yeah, the allegation yeah, was yeah. so loud, louder than what I was presenting as an artist. And to get said and in nature, nature or we in being nature presenters, journalism, media, I feel like they're against me and I cannot be who I really want to be. I, I, I cannot sell what my fans should know about me because. Um, radio station, TV station, back like that, the way they made news about me was in the fans' face, she's not an artist, she's just something else. So, mm, okay, so this contract and the signing is what's stopping. The reason I had to be a star is now the reason I am struggling to be a star. Um, you know what, city of danger, I'm going to move solo and um, that I did to be taken really seriously for people to focus more on my music, my art, yeah. my actual voice, my, act, my actual self mm. than what The allegations were so deep that yeah. some people even used to say they saw you guys in hotels together they saw you guys moving together, I think, because you were under a camp. But nothing mm. happened? And nothing really happened. Mm. And it's a truth that I feel I shouldn't even prove anymore. Yeah. Because it's very easy to stop working together. Yeah. Like, it's very easy to stop working together. Mm -hmm. But... I still work with Eddie Kenzo up to today. Yeah. He's still someone who listens to my music before it's out. Mm. He has done collabs with me. I think he kai kai akakola collabs nine. Yeah, true. So it namaz maga malani gavayo. Time heals and it just reveals some things. How much did that story break you as you as you? How much did it affect your personal life? A lot, so much. Mm. Because I am Natuki Tsela. And, uh, my personal relationships have become no relationships. Yeah, and then this is not just like romantically. Mm. This is friends, family, because I have family members who believe this stuff. Mm. I have fr friends who believe this stuff. Nimbena onga social life yange a food day. I can't go out. I can't. Like, no, I had actual attacks. Is that, is that, you did? Yes, I had an actual, actually, the, fa the last attack that happened was the day I left. Big, I think Navam Big Talent called Naku because of that. that Who had attacked you and how, where? So, um, of course, I had these attacks on social media, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, fans of other musicians, like, mm. for example, Rema Namakula's fans. That's, that's the time when Eddie was with Rema. When all everything came out, yeah. So, nga message zange until this summer, ezo ku Facebook. Then it went to WhatsApp. People would send me messages. The worst WhatsApp. insults, the worst. Mm. I don't know. You're coming from where? They pull your hair. Yeah, they. 
they basically physically attacked you. Yeah. Why have you, you said this anywhere? Um, I said it in some interviews, but yeah. I wasn't really being taken seriously. I don't even think people believed me. Mm. So, like, I'm like, let me just take action. Let they me. attacked you and called you a ho. Yeah, and they were like, uh, they were mentioning Eddie Kenzo's name, Rema Namakula's name. So you think they were from Team Rema? Because I don't want to think if they were mentioning Eddie and Rema, yeah, Eddie wouldn't have sent them. Yeah, they were because of so. the news that was going on, you know. Mm. Because Walwet said I would chat to Kangangenda to interview, mm. Nina Kaimba Kanga Kapia, mm. or Muntuna Tandikira Kuchibuzo, Echiji Adalavan Tukumula, like, you know, mm. <laughs> it's not about my music, it's not about me. It's just, and then it became so old because mm. 2019, Twai Tugenda Katim, one year. Yeah. Still going on. I'm like, you know what, this is so boring and I'm not I'm not settling for this kind of thing. So so, so the person who helped who had hopes of giving you a career, signing you ended up giving your life a totally different direction. Mm. Now this is a bit personal, but did Rema ever text you, mm. call no. you, meet you and say, Is this really happening? Never. P are you sure? Never. Is she your friend? Was no, she your no, friend? We've never really met. You've never met Rema in your life? No, I've met her, but mm. girl, like, no, this is PR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, mm. It's never happened. Is there a part of you that maybe thinks she believed those rumors? Yes, it were. I mean, if you're really in the one in the relationship, mm. and this is what is happening, I think because they say a lot of mm. wrong things about artists, mm. Mm. but I couldn't just guess that she i don't know where she was i don't know her thoughts about it so why the best i can do is exit this thing and happily and thankfully it wasn't in a bad way because when i explained it to my managers at that time they understood you talked to eddie Bali personally Bachidawa. about it yeah Bali Bachidawa. Well, Mugamba Eddie actually yeah. Yeah. Their team Rema. He oh. even one day made a post on his in, uh, Facebook mm. after seeing some of the messages in my in my phone. Mm. Yeah, gamba, eh, katinchitege de goracho koze. Nga. Nga koze. But wali mire, it, mm. there wasn't any peace, you know, there wasn't any peace whatsoever, there wasn't any joy, there wasn't any happiness. Did you ever at some point regret why you went to Big Talent in I the did. first place? I did. I did. I used to say, really? Because I think I went viral in 24 hours. I was on every person's mouth. Yes. I thought it was a good thing. Mm. Until I realized, okay, people are talking, not talking about me because of me. They're talking about me because of juice. News, yeah. So na chaju sanga nenga. Most of you guys didn't know this. Tracy Chirabo, her dream of becoming a musician, she goes to big talent and her life changes. Not for the better good, but for the bad. She was attacked by Tim Rema, accusing her of loving a man. So that's the day you decided to leave Big Talent. You've never went back to those gates. Uh, no, I didn't leave Big Talent like that. Mm. I explained about everybody involved knew what was happening. They saw what was happening. Mm. Sometimes I would be on stage and I would be insulted off stage. What? Yes. Sometimes I would be on stage performing my two songs, the ones I had at that time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> When they were my leg, they would frustrate, they would make me feel like I want to just hide once you were stage. Mm. So everybody knew what was happening, at least around to our Liban signing. The yes. people involved, they mm. saw, they knew, mm. and they too needed a solution. They're like, no, we can't continue like this. It's not even anywhere you go and you asked anything probably now you should start keeping quiet mm. but when i left big talent other people took it 
that I left in a bad way. Kati mm. ya mamu so happy. You know, I've left in a bad way. Yeah. And I didn't want to, I was no longer feeling the need to clear myself anymore. Mm. Because I knew nobody cares. Yes. Um, I'm like, let me just focus on one thing. Making sure I don't regret not being the star that I was born to be. Mm not reaching the destiny that I thought I was going to be being in this contract. Mm. So I still need you, Eddie. I need you, Kusame. I need you, Martin. But mm. now that organ, but I need all of you because I can't you do this on my own. You actually told them that. Yeah. Mm. But I don't want to be big talent. I just want to be peer pounds. And then they say, Kusame, I'm mm. by you. Because mm -hmm. apparently now you're working together. We're going to get into the details of that. But let, let us know what you think. You can drop your comments in the comment section if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're watching this show, thank you so much. We're going to take a quick break. Then when we come back, we shall get into the story of how a girl that really wanted to become a star actually now becomes a star with a song that played from northern Uganda to southern Uganda, parts of Kenya, even abroad. Eh? And she actually goes onto a plane and performs abroad. This is the Deep Talk. My name is Mr. Henry Tovao. The Deep Talk with Mr. Henry.